you've been using the same boring guts for way too long. And it's time to level up. Today I'm showing you four insane transitions that will take your edits from basic to the next level. Transition number one, the advanced spin transition. To start, create an adjustment layer in the project panel. Once you have it, drag it on top of your two clips in the timeline. Keep in mind, the length of the adjustment layer determines the length of your transition. Once you have it, duplicate the adjustment layer by holding Alt and dragging it one track up. Now when we try to rotate it, these black edges appear. Let me show you how to fix that. Find the replicate effect and add it to the first adjustment layer. Then head over to the effect controls and set the replicate count to 3. Then in the effects library, find the mirror effect and drag it on the adjustment layer 4 times. Then you will see the 4 mirror effects in the effect controls. Next, change the values to this. That way it mirrors the video and it won't have an edge anymore. You can pause the video and just copy what I have. This is when you're editing in a 4K sequence by the way. Next, find the transform effect and add it to the second adjustment layer. Now in the effect controls, adjust the scale of the transform effect to 300. That way you'll see the original size again. Now we can rotate however we want without these black edges appearing. So click the rotation stopwatch icon and set a keyframe. Then move further in time and adjust the rotation so it rotates one time. Next, expand the velocity curves and pull the levers of both the keyframes like this. That will ease the animation out and in. Then of course, don't forget get to increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees for a natural motion blur. That looks really cool. Transition number two, the slide and stretch transition. This one works really well on a match cut. For example, look at these two clips of a car moving in the same direction. To start, drag an adjustment layer above the two videos. Next, find the transform effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. Now head over to the effect controls and look for the scale property. Then uncheck uniform scale. This allows you to adjust the scale height and width separately. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of your video, then set a scale width keyframe. Move towards the end of the clip and set another keyframe. Now move the playhead in between the keyframes and adjust the scale width to make it stretch. Next, expand the velocity curves and pull the levers of the first and the third keyframe. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle for motion blur. That looks absolutely stunning. By the way, I actually found these car clips in the Storyblocks plugin. I mean, it's super simple. You just type in whatever you need and then click the download button. Then a few seconds later, the video will be in your project panel. Awesome! Storyblocks, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for just one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to paperclip pricing. Now just imagine you're trying to get some aerial shots and you crash your drone. Yeah, you should have used Storyblocks. You can find endless drone shots right there in the plugin. You will enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. At the meantime, Storyblocks will fully protect you from copyright strikes, claims and everything like that. That way you can focus on what actually matters. And that is creating. Besides that, you can save hours with the pre-made motion graphics templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. Number 3. A super clean digital glitch transition. This works really well on dark videos with lots of colors like this one. First, place an adjustment layer above the clips and make it a few frames long. Then in the effects library, find the VR digital glitch effect and drag it on your clip. Once you have it, go to the effect controls and make sure the playhead is on the first frame. Then expand the distortion properties and set a keyframe for the geometry distortion X. Also the distortion rate and the distortion evolution. Then move to the middle of the clip and increase the X a little. Also increase the distortion rate. Then move to the end of the clip and click the reset button for the X property and the distortion rate property. Then increase the distortion evolution to make the glitch effect move. And there you go, that looks awesome. It's time for transition number 4, a split transition. So you want to transform from this clip to the other one. First of all, make sure they overlap. Then we're gonna select the top clip and head over to the effect controller.
controls. In the opacity property, click the pen tool to create a mask. We can split the buildings from the water and to do that, draw a mask around the buildings. Then make sure the feather is set to zero. Now back in the timeline, hold down Alt and duplicate your clip. Then with the top clip selected, go to the effect controls and invert the mask we just created. That will make the entire image appear again. Now animate the position property so the C goes down until it's gone. Then on the other clip in the timeline, do the same thing with the buildings but make them move up. And there you go, a super cool split transition. By the way, I paid three editors to edit my video and I gave them feedback right here in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.